Okay, in this example, we're going to go to the 3D print, and that's generally speaking what I always do. Tab, Alt A, and then have a look and see where the problem areas are, the intersecting faces. Now, this one has been designed quite well. We've got a few intersections into approximately over there. Also, if you note, we've got the contacts which are not good. Uh, we need to make sure that we've got enough space. Go to the model designer, go to the sculpt smoothing and we're going to smooth them. In transparent mode you will be able to see how it's going to change the contact areas. So especially this one, I'm going to smooth and as we're smoothing it enlarges the contact area so that we can actually put a bar in between. So these two things are very important. Checking for errors and then checking the contact into proximal areas to ensure that there's enough space for your bar. All right, I'm going to fast forward and just smooth these contact areas a little bit. All right, now check that the incisals are standing upwards. Start and name your hybrid. And then following that, we will plot the tubes. This is very well covered in many videos. So in this video, I'm not going to talk about it. And then we're going to go through to making the cones. All right, I did forget one. I'm going to make this one as well, even though this particular one will be totally excluded. So not really necessary to make one, but let's do it anyway. Then click on the create mask. This is only for protecting when you are smoothing. So at this stage we've done with our smoothing and there's nothing to smooth close to the geometries. All right, we're going to click on draw and then plot your vertices. All right, when we get to the molar, we need a very gentle incline. This is important. So if doing it steep, it's wrong. So it has to be a gentle incline. Let me show you this is not correct. This is correct. So we don't want the vertices folding over like that. This is incorrect. This is correct. I'm going to hide the cones and I'm going to edit the lines a little bit. We're going to make the basic design. We're looking at it from the top down. We're going to rotate the scene so that the silhouette of the front teeth is inside of the basic design. Okay, this is our cutting tool. And here is something to take note. This is very, very important. Especially go over the molar. Even though it's cut, this is incorrect. You have damaged your outside of your cutting tool. So this is absolutely not correct. We're going to move the cutter up a little bit. All right, you've got to preserve this area. Always move the cutter a little bit higher. This is correct. I'm going to lower it just a little bit, not too much, and then we're going to cut it. We're going to lower the blue surface, but before I do that, I'm going to angle the basic design a little bit. 
I'm also going to make it a little bit narrower. Then we're going to move the blue surface downwards. It is safe to do so. Look at where the implant hole is. And then we're going to lower this. Especially in this region. Over here with this hole, we still got a problem, but I will deal with it later down the line. Following that, we're going to convert this into a cutter. Open the next menu and then remesh design into your cutter. I can see a few problem areas. Number one over here and there as well where the cutter is outside of the hybrid. Click on edit cutter. Select the vertice, rotate your scene then use your G key to grab, with proportional editing, a whole bunch of vertices inside of your hybrid. Please make sure that your perimeter of your cutting tool is still remains outside of the, of the hybrid. Alright, we're going to go to the other side and we're going to do the same thing. It is important to rotate the scene sort of so that it's parallel to your screen. Then you can grab the vertices in the correct direction. I'm not happy with this one either. I'm going to move it down substantially. Now, because we've moved the cutter inside of the cone, this can create chaos. We're going to then remesh and refresh this cutter. So in object mode, click on refresh cutter. Now the vertices that you've moved inside of your code are going to then pop back out. And this is a step that cannot be missed. And pop. Here we see it. Finally, I'm going to smooth down my cutting tool. Click on Smooth Cutter. Now, it is essential to see that there are no undercuts in transparent mode. When we rotate the scene, we will be able to pick up these undercuts. If you are in doubt, use the block out module to get rid of these undercuts. Now here it appears that we have some undercuts, but when I rotate the scene, then they will disappear. So in this case, there is no need to use a block out module. I don't see any undercuts. Next, select your cutter, go to the safety zone. This step is important because we need to make sure that the hybrid shell is thick enough. Add safety zone. You will note that some of the safety zone will appear underneath the hybrid, especially if you have concave areas. If they are convex, it shouldn't be appear. Here we have concave areas, but however, when you click on the accept, most of this will disappear. Now, before we s click on correct thickness, make sure that your green zones are underneath the screw holes. If for any reason the green zone is up here, please move this green zone down by clicking on edit zone. What you're essentially doing is you've got both selected and we can move this down. So this is very, very important. This step cannot be missed. The other thing to note is that when we click on the correct thickness, the tubes that we made in the beginning are going to 
cut away the green surface, ensuring that your geometry, your whole geometries, will not get damaged. This is very important to make these tubes correct in the beginning. Great, we're going to correct the thickness. Finally, it's time to separate the hybrid. Now, it is important to select your cutter because you may have more than one cut on the scene. Then click on Adjust the Cement Space. I'm not going to engage in the additional space in this video. In transparent mode, I'll give it a brief overview. At this stage, the cutter can still be grabbed and pulled into different directions. Select it, tab to edit, make sure that proportional editing is on, and then use the G key. However, where there is a screw hole, you've got to exercise caution. All right, we're going to separate the hybrid. And this is the outcome. Now, a brief inspection shows me that I'm not happy with this screw hole over here. This is why I'm going to go back a few steps. Control Z a few times slowly until you get the spacer over here. Using Alt B cross section mode, I'm going to check to see what the issue is. Then tab to go into edit mode, select proportional editing on, use the G key and grab the cutting tool a little bit into a different location. Over here as well. Then tab to get out of it and we're going to cut it one more time. And this is the final result. Thank you for watching the video.